might have to take notes on this bitch. Man, welcome back to the Famous and Wealthy Podcast. Today we got big folks on the show today. Do you hear me? In this thing, in this thing, baby. What's happening? Hey, man, you know, we just left Meta Yang. Man, listen, my first time out the country ever in my life, I got to thank, thank my little bro for blessing me, taking me out there on my first trip to Meta Yang, and that shit was Meta Yang. Brody, would you tell these <laughs> people about Meta Yang? Man, I see why Pablo never wanted to leave and just was going to fight to the death. He's never wanted to leave. Man, so listen, I love Medellin. By somebody's first Medellin. time being in Medellin, hey, what do you think about the United States women now? Because I was telling you, I was like, oh, you're going to see a difference from I the mean, United States I, I, women. I still love my United States women, but in, in Colombia, the there is no stress. Exactly. There's no stress. Like when you got there, did there you, there's did you no go to capping the, around. Exactly. Yeah, so no so that. like for instance, a girl she wanna t- she want now, do if a girl right now meet you tomorrow and say, Can you take me to Ruth Chris? And do you understand the difference kind of like when she wanna go to Ruth Chris and she's she wanna talk you to death on the phone and like how do what do you think about that right now? After I going think, to Medellin. <laughs> I think that uh person shouldn't visit Medellin if they want to continue like to have some type of stressful relationship over here in America. Just don't visit. Because yeah. you're going to come back and you're going to be blue every time a motherfucker yep. open their mouth because yep. in Medellin, you don't even know what they saying, and but you can understand what they saying. I'm telling you. It was you. like beautiful. It was like kicking it in the club and drinks and <sighs> motherfuckers doing shit and taking shots and doing shit a nigga don't even, even what, what do you, What do you think shit. about the money the money side of it, like oh going out to God. eat and like when we go out to eat for breakfast, we might spend what three, four hundred, five hundred for like once we order the whole yeah, out like, there. Well, we spend sixty dollars, ninety yeah, 60 for the, USD, yeah, because it's maybe a uh, hundred thousand. Yeah, right, right, it's right, crazy. Right. Like we we were spending millions over there of their money. <laughs> right, right, but it was still which crazy. was only maybe a, a couple thousand dollar money. It was just like it was like the difference is fucking crazy. <laughs> Man, it was so crazy, though, know, man. It was in Medellin, y'all, man. If you ain't ever been to Medellin, man, Colombia, man, or Colombia, period, man, make sure y'all go to Colombia. Check that thing out one time. Man, I never knew Colombia had good food. They got good food. They drinks are shitty. They they alcohol mixed drinks. I I we couldn't we couldn't find a good one. We went to every restaurant, but they food, man. Shout out to uh, Rituals out there in Colombia, man. Yeah, Rituals. Yeah, hey. go to Colombia. Go to that restaurant. Rituals. The setup is wicked. Man, get the steak. Man, just order a gang and shit like we be doing. We ordered the whole menu and it was like Whatever. that. And I only spent two hundred seventy four dollars. I still remember it because I yeah. swear I thought it was gonna be about two thousand. Oh, my mama, that was a two thousand. I was like, man, it's about to be about two bands. I'm ready. I was ready to pay two bands, and it won two bands. I'm like, damn, it ain't two Don't bands. Believe it, man. I had but a gold hamburger, I think. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna cap though, man. They got to do a little bit better with the pina coladas. Yeah, pina colada one. That's why I'm glad we back here in Miami, so I go get me a proper pina colada because they pina colada game is a little off. No, right? yeah, I like the juices it's a little, a little bit different. So if you ain't never been out of town, man, overseas or something, it's best to go with a group of people who know that thing because man, we got that thing on lock right now. Man, go with a bunch of lit motherfuckers. I'm yeah, go with the motherfuckers that want to be bored and man. Wanna, they got to go lock. to the little mansion on the mountain and all that. Don't go with Yeah, them. we we got the <laughs> wait, we got the drivers on lock. Yes, you know what sir. I mean? We had a good shout out to the driver. And for who don't know, man, we trying to get our boy Charleston White and Dewberry out there. Definitely got to get Dewberry. We got to get there. Dewberry. But Dewberry, hey. I could guarantee Dewberry never in his life experienced nothing like that. And he won't. And I haven't. Like I haven't. <laughs> hey, Dewberry, I haven't even experienced none in my life. So you're going to hear a whole lot of hey, man. <laughs> when Dewberry go back to Texas and tell hey, folks, they're going to be like, bangs. man, them boys, man. Man, them girls out there, man, man. You're going to hear a whole lot of mains. I'm telling you. So we looking forward to bringing them out the there, man. Boys. You feel me? Um. What's on the list though? What's on the what's on the topic, man? man? Did you uh, while we was out there, man? Did you check on your people out there in Dubai? I mean, oh yeah, check Sam, on I checked on man. Everything good, you know. Like when I was out there, Dubai actually flooded, but for some reason, it's like we didn't see the floods. I think it's like in a certain area of where so none like, of Sam shit flood. I thought. Nah. Uh, no, and like, so when he, like, let, and none of that wild shit, maybe that truck ain't float away no shit. <laughs> no, nah, look, so when he riding, let's say if he going okay, on his way to the gym. Okay, ain't no scammer. He didn't want to get his insurance off, huh? No, <laughs> look, look, so when he was riding to the gym, he had ride through the water or whatever, but 
he ain't his, his everything good. Like shout out to what, that nigga yeah. Sam, you know, aka Lobos over there, man. Hey man, make sure y'all follow my boy Sam, man, and follow his site, man. He finna go up the Wi-Fi money, man. We've been watching you, my boy, oh, Bitcoin my King. Definitely you know can't what wait saying? to get over there and Gamer with King. Him. Hey man, make sure y'all follow my boy Sam. Definitely, man. We want to take over Dubai. We want to take over Thailand. We want to go to uh, Saudi Africa. Arabia. We're going to go to Saudi Arabia. So if y'all want to be a part of these trips, man, make sure y'all hit us up. You know what I'm saying? We're going we to DR next, though, right? Huh? DR next? Yeah, DR next to go get us some pina coladas. Yeah, that's, that's you feel me? So we're going to DR at. next. We've been traveling. We've been doing a whole lot, man. Y'all, It's a lot of catching up to do, man. It's a lot of stuff that's been going on. Um, but, hey, we on the move. We on the run. Yeah, we so, see that uh, while we was out there, that Drake shit, uh, the Drake beef was going on. Rick Ross was clown acting crazy and... What's so going what you on? Think what about you, that? Folks? What you think about that? Because I, you know me, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm rolling with Drizzy. I'm with Drizzy. I'm with Drizzy. <laughs> I feel like it's all a chess move, man. I feel like, uh, but listen, but listen, hold on. I, I'm fucking with Drizzy, but I got real strong connections over there to Kendrick Lamont. You know, that's G. Weed and them people. That's his little man's look. Shout yeah. out to the Kendrick and little E and all them over there, little L and all them over there, yeah. and Capanellas and you know them niggas. But uh. I fuck with Drake on this one. I ain't gonna need cap to you, man. I feel like, I feel like, you know, I see, I see Ross. He came out with the BBL thing, like yeah, the BBL jersey and the nose job, and <laughs> I was just looking at it like this, like, um, I mean, I understand you got the big house, you know what I mean, but I know deep down, you know, you're not fucking with bro. I do. I want to do Rick Ross. Know that I, I, I want to. Well, I know they got money, right? But we know real estate. So when you say you pay X amount of dollars for a house, do you think they only really put that ten percent down and use that credit? Exactly. <laughs> and then my thing is, I looked at it like this: you know, Drake Mansion is in Canada. You know, Canada high as hell. How I wouldn't taxes dare is, put my house. I wouldn't dare put my house next to Drake's house, while my big ass house is in Georgia. Yeah, nah, you get what I mean? Nah, like, got a big ass I mean, out. Ross get to the bag. Let's not oh, get for sure. he get to the bag, but I'm, I'm just Ross. saying though, like, <laughs> like well, everybody know Drake is can hop on your song and change your life. I don't know about Ross hopping on your. We song. We know one thing I I got to honor and I like about Drake, and um, even back with the mouth situation, um, that zero to hundred song he did, he shouted out. He said, "I'll be on my little fuck all that Drake. You got to chill shit. I'll be on my little mouth drill shit." And that was a big shout. One thing I love about Drake is. With new up and up and coming artists, he will get them a shot. He'll get on that feature. Yeah. A Drake feature got to be a million dollars, half a million dollars or some wild I shit. I feel like Drake ain't even going to do a feature if he yeah, ain't I don't think he can pay bag. Drake for a future. He, yeah. just, he, he literally got to want to do that shit or some or shout you out or something. And every time he came to Chicago after that, he showed us love. But also my nigga Future, like a family member to us. He always showed love. Not, yeah. not so much as in a big song like Drake or Lil Wayne, but like, when he come to Chicago and this and that, man, he locking in. We fucking around, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. that's, that's family, but it's just interesting to see all their ass go at it and shit. It's making the shit fun. The shit was kind of boring. They I mean, do up. you think, to be honest, in the real 2024, do you think it's all fake cap type shit? Yeah, I believe it's a, I believe it's a little cap gun shot in the air, but you know what I'm saying? But once the cap gun gets shot in the air, I feel like I feel like all these rappers that's been in the game and experience is peeping high. People like you even yeah. go viral all the time, more than them almost. So yeah. it's like, it's almost like the content creator, the podcasters, and this and that, they going viral. You see them, you talk about them every day, and this and that. So the, uh, I guess the, the rappers, like, they found a niche to be like, all right, we can kick the shit out. And it's like the Cat Williams shit, how he just went on, on um, the Shannon Sharp shit and went viral. But now all the comments, you see all the comments doing interviews and live stand up shows. Now they all touring and shit. So it's like, that's kind of a play talk about everybody in this little field that we in. It's so, probably a little slow. Now it's like, now it's controversy. So now it's back to be 100% back. honest, everybody know I got lipo, right? right? You know what I mean? People finding out about Drake having lipo oh, and doing yeah, whatever he doing. Crazy. To be honest, a thousand percent, you don't think Ross got no work done, folk? If he got it done, remember you told me that in order for me for me to ever get something done, you almost got to be in shape and kind of working out because, you know, it's going to be fucked off. I just think that Ross is upset because he don't want to do the working out and getting it down so he can get all the way right because he got too much money. You know he want to be right. He in Miami, he always got his shirt off and open. And so you don't think right. he did a little bit of, because like, because I'm going oh, to be honest, that I remember Ross was way, yeah. way bigger, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm not saying that he did, but I you never you just never know with certain like know I know for a fact. Do. This anybody that's watching, uh 
like at least sixty percent of these rappers is getting work done. I don't, it might not be the lipo, it might not be this that, but it's something they getting something done. I even look at what when you, people go you, get veneers. Think, what you think Ross won't done? You think Ross won a, a BBL as he's running around saying? Is he jealous of the BBL? You don't BBL think, but look, like, and, like as a big as as being smaller, right? You don't think that he might want to slim down a little bit and want to. Get Listen, that man, so, so. Every, I'm a big nigga. You know, I lost my way due to my kidney shit and getting the kidney transplant. Now I'm gaining it back and all that. But every big nigga want to be slimmer. You was fat. You know yeah, that. Yeah, I wanted to be close. So so basically, <laughs> so basically, we're going to both agree that we think 